Hey everybody, welcome to Wednesday's live stream. Today is April 3rd. As always, if you're watching the playback, feel free to skip ahead to where we get started. Um, we're going to continue in Anamorphia today. Just going to get chat up and then we'll wait for some people to join. I think Didi's still streaming, so... Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Susie. How are you ladies today? I'm glad to hear that. Oh, hi Beth, thank you. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty good too. Definitely had a rough night last night, that's for sure. Um, was up quite late. Stitch went missing yesterday. He got out of the house. They're strictly indoor cats, so I was pretty worried. But thankfully, about four or five hours later, I finally found him. Hi Heather. I was literally sitting at, um, I had a pillow and a blanket, and I was sitting in front of our living room window, waiting for him to come home. I was ready to just camp out there all night. And then Becky was actually streaming last night, thankfully, so that was a wonderful distraction. So then I finally decided, I told them, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and see if I can find him. I walked around for probably 40 minutes, and it was pretty cold last night, so... Came home and then there he was, laying by Rain's truck, so I was able to grab him. Yeah, he made a friend. The first thing I did when I realized he was missing is I put his litter box... Oh, you're crazy. I put his litter box outside because if they get lost, they can usually smell their litter box and find their way home. So I put his litter box out and then all of a sudden I see this orange tabby sniffing around it. So I was going to go shoo him away and I opened the door and there's Stitch right behind him. But that orange tabby is really easily spooked. So he took off and Stitch took off following him. And then so I was like, okay, at least I know that he's safe. So then I put some food out and that orange tabby came back, but Stitch didn't. And that's when I started to get really worried. But thankfully I found him. I think he probably heard me rattling his toy. This is a laser pointer from the dollar store, and he can hear it from anywhere in the house. I'll see if I can get him in here. Hi, you. Come up here. <laughs> he won't come on the desk, but he comes running into the art room. This is his favorite toy in the world. As soon as he hears it, he's there. Yeah, definitely a rough night, but super thankful that he's okay. Hi, Tara. Hi, Connie. Hi, Kim. Anybody else I missed? Anybody lurking? Thanks for being here. Yeah, he's okay. Um, one thing I am a little bit worried about is he's not fully vaccinated yet, so hopefully that other cat has all his vaccinations. <laughs> Do you hear that? That's just him playing with the laser pointer. Me too, and poor Lilo, she sat by the window looking out at it, looking for him with me pretty much all night. And then as soon as he came in, she did not leave his side. Hi, Joey. Hi, Becky. Me too. I don't know what I'd do without this grumpy little bugger. And especially, I wouldn't be so worried if they were outdoor cats, but... They're not usually outside, so. And we do get idiots kind of racing down our street and stuff. Thankfully not at night, but during the day they do. I'll play with you with that later. So. 
So, on Monday we started an anamorphia. Lila, watch your tail. Thank you. And we started the swordfish page. Hi, Nanamo. So this is the page that we started. And I'm super excited to finish it. So I think I'm just going to continue on with the swordfish. I want to get him done first, see how he looks, and then we can decide on colors and everything after, I think. I think it'd be easiest to do it that way. <laughs> Miss Lilo still has white paint on her whiskers from the other day. I zoom in a little bit here and we're going to work on this side of the page for now. Oh, that's okay, Becky. Lurk away. I'll definitely be at your stream after, but I'll probably have to lurk for a little bit because I've got dishes to do and then I've got to get all of my shelves and stuff off my other two walls so I can start muddying them and prepping them to paint. Hoping to start painting these two on Saturday. I've got to go to preschool on Friday with little man. He's got show and tell, which means that I'm also a parent helper. So looking forward to that. I think it's my last turn this year. So that'll be fun. Yes, yeah, sweetheart, you can come in. Oh, that's being my shirt right there. <laughs> Thank you. Why is my little bear on her hair? Um, just because I can't, I can't hang him up right now because we're gonna be painting that wall. He'd just be in the way, and I don't want to get paint on him. So everything's just kind of crazy in here, isn't it? How do I died? <laughs> Hi, Melody. Hi, Melody. Oh, oh, that's okay, hon. I hope you're feeling well. Hi, Melody. Love you. <laughs> So I walked up the stitch this morning after I let them out of the art room and I was like, you little bugger. I was like, don't you ever scare me like that again. And then Carbon goes up to him and just starts petting him and he's like, but it's nice that you found a friend. <laughs> yeah, I checked what a friend showed me away with dark light tonight. That's right. Yeah. We tried to find him. Thankfully we did, boy, eventually. Yep. Yeah. Today they found him. I found him last night. You were in bed though. Yeah. <laughs> um. After like she made him, she was like behind the truck or like on the road truck. Like, and he was by the window, the same window that he got out. She. He's trying she to get back in. She went back to the window, but she made a new friend, like a tinted friend. It. It was like orange. I had mm -hmm. another cat, like little. Have you like, been saying hi to you? Oh, hi everyone. <laughs> I hope you had a nice day last time. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, if you want to go play your game, you only get to play while I'm streaming, right? Huh? And that's all oh, the yeah. time you get today. Yeah. Don't waste it. I love you. Bye hey. Now. Yeah, right there. Thank you. <laughs> He was, he was quite upset last night. I told him that I would wake him up and tell him that Stitch was home. But And I did try. I tried to wake him up. But that kid would not wake up for an earthquake. He'll sleep through everything. And he also claims to hate sleeping. So <laughs> it doesn't quite add up. Okay, so I'm going to come in with the black grape. And that's what we've been using for our shadows here. This is where it gets a little bit tricky because we've got such a large space here and I'm not quite sure what to do with it. I suppose what I could do is actually, this is spiral bound, so I could fold it over. I don't know why I didn't do that last time. Hi, Phantom. It's been a while since I've seen you. I'm going to have to look at my cheat sheet for your name. I think I had it. Cindy. Hi, Cindy. It's been a while since I've had to use that book. Ooh, where were you vacationing? I'm jealous. 
after last night, I want a vacation. <laughs> I swear that dang cat took like three years off my life. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hopefully you had a blast. was one reason that I kind of need this open is to be able to match up my shading actually. So maybe that's why I didn't do that last time. So I think I'd probably get it fairly similar. I don't want to risk it and then have it look off. So I'll at least finish this bit and then I can kind of close the book which makes it a lot easier to color in. Oh, do you plan on moving in the future then? Okay, I think I'm just going to focus on this bit for now. So I'm going to switch to the denim blue. I'm just going to start putting this in here, starting off soft, and then I'll just gradually build up on my pressure. <laughs> oh, that is really exciting. I'm not really fond of where I live either. I wish I could, like, pick up my house and just move somewhere else. But at the same time, all my family's around here too. So... It would never happen. Well, most of my family. My sister lives like nine hours away. Oh my goodness. I should have waited to get this spiral bound. I should have finished the book first. <laughs> spiral binding is a wonderful thing, but also a nuisance. I might have to flip this book upside down. Okay, I think I'm liking that. If you guys can tell I'm coloring super slow, really working up those layers. Hi, Michelle. How are you, sweetheart? Um, we are coloring in Kirby Roseanne's Anamorphia. I'm currently kind of redoing the art room right now, so 
Um, everything is like everywhere. It's super chaotic. Honestly, the only times that I've been coloring lately is on stream because I just try and stay out of here. I cannot wait till it's done. But um, I had most of my books put away and I wasn't really sure what I wanted to color for our streams. So I just kind of used an app to pick a random book and this is the one I picked. So flipped through the pages and this is the one that caught my eye. It's one of my favorites and I feel like I'm confident enough to color it now. So it's just coming in with the Copenhagen blue now. Okay, I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna have to flip this upside down because this is driving me crazy. Hi Elizabeth, hi Shara, and thank you hun. I'm definitely very, very happy. <laughs> so the reason that he got out was Rain noticed that one of our windowsills was leaking and he thought it was because a big frost ball kind of formed um, because it's basement window and it gets rather cold and usually there's quite a bit of condensation on all of the windows but this one was leaking like crazy and we couldn't figure out why. Finally realized that the um, one of the pipes in our underneath our kitchen was leaking just very slowly, like to the point where the water would just like kind of trail down and you wouldn't really notice it unless you actually touched the pipe. So he's had to pull quite a bit of that wall off and there's been a little bit of mold. So he's had to spray bleach down there. So he's got the windows open and they're old windows. They don't have screens or anything. And he thought it was open just enough that Stitch wouldn't be able to get through, but Stitch somehow found his way through it. So we have it open even less today, and if Stitch gets out again, then I'm going to put a nail in front of that window so it can be open and Stitch can't open it any further. He's such a brat, my little escape artist. Hi, Lulu. Oh, that's okay, Charlotte. It's always nice listening to streams while doing laundry and housework. I usually do that too, but then I find that my housework takes forever. You are going to fall off the desk there, little lady. <laughs> he did, but he, he came home. Thankfully, we found him. He was outside for like 40 minutes last night, jingling his little toy. He's got a, it's a, laser, a keychain laser pointer, so if I shake it, the metal keychain part taps up against it, and as soon as he hears that, he's usually right there. That's how I knew he wasn't in the house. I went around the whole house jingling it and he never came. So I was like, oh yeah, he got outside. Are you looking for food, little lady? I put it away so your brother would eat it. There. There you go. Here, I'll get Hi, Nick and Tina. How are you guys today? Yes, exactly, Cindy. That is, I'm very thankful for that. That's all I care about. And now just hoping he doesn't get out again. <laughs> okay, let me just see here. I'm going to bring this blue right up to about here. So I think I'm doing good. Sorry for the constant moving around. Going in with a little bit of a firmer pressure, kind of blending these colors together. Not completely burnishing it yet. This thing paper. 
keep sliding around. I keep getting those textured marks from the edges of it. I think we're getting there. Let's see, my next color is the non photo blue. So, same thing, I'm just going to start touching this in here and kind of blending. I think, I think what I did is I took this and blended over everything. So, I'm going to do that. And I know that I have it down here too. I'm going to leave this little bit right here by that bin because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. I feel like that fin should be darker. Maybe even completely different kind of color than the front fin. But I don't know if that would look good or if it looks strange. I'm just kind of fading it out this way. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do in this area yet either. So I'm just going to color where I'm certain of for now. Fade off everywhere that I'm not really sure of. Probably start fading it out up here. I think this bit will still be with the pinks and purples. And I think I'm going to keep that going kind of all along his nose here. Carbon, was that you? Yeah. <laughs> Don't scream like that. You weirdo, you scare me. Yeah. Hi, Loretta. Thanks for popping in. That's okay, lurk away. Um, Nick and Tina, I'm doing pretty good. It's a little bit of a rough night with Stitch going missing, but everything's all good now. I'm a little bit tired, but... Oh, oh. You get your butt out of my face. <laughs> you are a brat. Get your tail out of here. Get your tail out of here. <laughs> oh, Tina's streaming tonight? Are we doing World of Flowers tonight? Or Magical Jungle. Which, speaking of Magical Jungle, um, if y'all want to head over to Becky's stream, it should be shortly after I'm done, she'll be on. Um, she had a really awesome project idea last night that we kind of went through, and you could be involved in it, so I would definitely check out her stream later on. And then she'll give out all the details, and it's going to be pretty cool. Okay, awesome. I, she does really good in World of Flowers. Well, really anything, but World of Flowers is my favorite from her. So I will definitely be there. So just going to come in with the... I don't know. It's on the Prismacolor page, like the printout for the color swatches. It's Caribbean Blue, but on my pencil it says Caribbean Sea. But anyways, that's the pencil that I'm using now. And I'm just going to lightly come in with this. It's a little bit darker than I'd initially planned, but it does kind of work with everything. So I'm just going to carry on with it. Oh, of course, Becky. I meant to say it at the beginning, but then I got kind of distracted with telling my tale about the escaping kitty. And 
my mind is just not all here this morning, to be honest. <laughs> I think I was up to like almost one in the morning last night, which usually I can't make it past like nine o'clock, 10 at the latest most nights. So yeah, last night was pretty late for me. <laughs> I'm just gonna switch back to the non photo blue. I'm just gonna blend these two a little bit more together. Again, I'm fading off everything on this side. So I can always just continue with those colors, but that way this section will be finished. Yeah, Connie, is there any news about Stitch? I love that so many of us have cats with the same names. <laughs> Is super cute. It's like the clan of stitches. Okay. Miss Lulu's butt's kind of in the way, but let's see how well that matched up. It's not too bad. I do want to add a little bit more color in here, though, maybe. Do I? Yeah, I think I do. I'm going to grab the Copenhagen Blue. <laughs> Me too, Lulu. It's like everything you do, they want in on it. They're just so content to just stay by your side. And that's, I I don't get when people say that cats aren't loyal. Lilo literally follows me around the house as if she were a dog. If that's not loyalty, I don't know what is. I'm just going to bring my Copenhagen blue up a little bit. I just want to make these match the sides. As much as I can. It does bother me that there's this big white strip down the middle, but what can you do? In a half hour. Okay, well, I stream till 12, my time, which would be, is that an hour behind you? I think that's actually one year time, isn't it? I'm confused. This time change around the world is really confusing. We should all just be on the same time. <laughs> oh. oh, well, hopefully they figure it out without it being too serious. Okay, hun. That's not a problem. If you want to start before too, it's not a huge deal. I'm just confused on stream times lately. There seems to be a few people whose have changed. I think it's just due to the time change though, because we changed time before. We were we changed last month, I think. But then there's some people that just recently changed, I guess. I don't know. It's confusing. Okay, I think that looks a lot better. Um, let's see here. So now I'm going to come in with the Caribbean Sea or Caribbean Blue, depending on what pencils you have. And I'm just going to start popping this in at the top here. Yeah, it's no fun when our kitties, or even just animals in general, when our fur babies are sick. Or, can't even say fur babies, because not all of them have fur. <laughs> I'm 
Okay, and now I'm going to switch to, and actually I'm going to grab my pencil sharpener here. And this. Yes, if you're not subscribed to Becky, I definitely would subscribe to her. She is amazing and super friendly, way better at holding conversation than I am, that's for sure. But I blame my social anxiety for that. Not that I'm like anxious, but I feel like I was so held back as a kid that I'm not very good at socializing now because I never really did much of it, if that makes sense. <laughs> oh no, Cindy. <laughs> at least it's just the closet. That would be Lilo. She goes missing in the closets all the time. We have those bifold closets, and as soon as one opens, she runs into it. But she can actually get herself out. She like headbutts the closet and gets herself out. She's very smart. <laughs> Anybody else with channels too, if you want to pop them in the description, or not the description, the comments, the chat, um, or like Instagram, or like Facebook groups, whatever you want to promote, feel free to. So I'm just kind of blushing this hot pink in. That is, yeah, hot pink. Okay. I'm blushing this in. Not going too hard yet. I'm just going to darken up the bottom a little bit. You can always go back in later and darken it up too, though. Oh my goodness, Shara. <laughs> That's too funny. At least it makes for like a really good story, though, huh? That's cute. Oh, that makes sense, Cindy. Yes, Susie, feed the puppy. Okay, and now I'm going to come in with the dark, or no, that's not dark purple, that's black grape. I'm going to come in with the dark purple, and I'm just going to carry on with these kind of shadows we have here. So I've got kind of the dark purple all up against that, so I'm going to start off with having it the same, and then I can kind of change up the pattern. So... I can go ahead and flip this again. Hopefully you guys don't mind. Miss Lilo, your butt is in the way. She's congested this poor little thing so I can hear her breathing. She's sleeping. She's so sweet. So I'm just going to come in with the dark purple. I'm going to constantly be moving these papers back because they keep shifting. Very annoying. So I'm just going to start putting this in, and I'm just going to pop it in randomly now. So we don't have those stripes to work with. We can kind of make our own kind of texture, though. Make it look interesting. Why not? Make some areas darker. I'll go kind of dark right in behind this fish's wings. Really make them stand out when we color that. Oh, thank you, Nanamo. <laughs> yeah, I totally understand those range of emotions, Shara. <laughs> Thanks, Charlotte. 
That means a lot to hear. I don't think it's quite as much noticeable on stream because I am quite comfortable, but definitely in person, you can definitely tell. I think Rain's secretary, um, her son is in preschool. I think she thought I was kind of stuck up for the first little bit there until I kind of told her about my anxiety. And then she's like, oh, she's like, that makes way more sense. <laughs> she just thought I didn't want to talk to her. And I'm like, no, I just don't know how to talk to you or what to say. And like, I'm not the type of person that usually likes to just, what do you, what do you call that? Where you just kind of like talk about nothing, small talk. I'm not one to kind of make small talk. When I, when I talk to somebody, I want to kind of have like deeper conversations. I want them to have some meaning to them. So yeah, I, I kind of struggle with that, with people that I'm not very comfortable with. Your tail keeps getting in my way. Okay, now that I've got that purple in there, I'm going to come back in with the hot pink. I'm just going to add a little bit more of that, fade it in. I'm actually going to use the hot pink up here to kind of blend the um, that blue and our purples together. And actually, I'm going to grab the dark purple again, and I want a little tiny bit down here. Just slightly, just enough that you can kind of see it. You don't want it to be too much. Yeah, I'm like that too, Joey. As long as the other person knows what to say, then I'm okay. So I find, I find like when I was growing up and even now still, I always surrounded myself with people who loved to talk because then I only had to kind of fill in the silence. Which was a lot less stressful. <laughs> okay, going to come in with the neon pink now. <laughs> and I'm just going to go over everything. My little man's playing video games, so he's a little bit crazy right now, if you can hear him kind of freaking out in the background. You keep rolling around like that and you're going to fall off. Look at your pretty belly. <laughs> you're so cute. Hi Heather, welcome back. Yes, definitely don't want those kitties to go hungry. Milo, you're gonna fall off. Come on. Where are you going? Are you leaving me? Oh, you want your chair? Here, I'll leave my sweater. You can have your chair. There you go. I hate laundry. That is one of my least favorite chores to do. Thankfully, I usually only ever have to do my own laundry, sometimes Carvin's, but Rain usually handles that because he's like really OCD. He doesn't really use the dryer much except for like socks and stuff like that. Everything else he pretty much like hangs up to dry. And he does the same thing with carbon stuff, and yeah, he doesn't really trust me to do it, which is fine by me, because then I don't have to. <laughs> People still iron? I didn't know that was still a thing. <laughs> if I had to iron something, I wouldn't even know what to do, honestly. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to come in with my white now, and I'm going to go over pretty much this whole top part. So 
So that way it's still bright and light and pretty, but it's more like pastel colors. I'm only going to go about yay far because it's not really finished. I don't want to burnish that. Yeah, me too, Cindy. I wish I could just cook and bake and just snap my fingers and have the dishes done. It'd be great. Oh, I'm jealous, Michelle. <laughs> you are definitely really lucky. I agree, Nanamo, except a lot of Carbon's dishes <laughs> a lot of Carbon's dishes can't go in it. Okay, let's see here. I think I'm gonna keep this flipped actually for now. Hopefully it's not bugging you guys. I tackle this fin. Did that go onto which goes onto the other page? Okay. Here, let's tackle the front. No, I want to do the back bin first. So I'm going to have to open this back up here. Kind of work from both sides, I suppose. Oh, that's smart, Tara. I never thought of doing that. I usually just take a stack of heavy books and like put it on the piece of paper and just leave it for a couple days. <laughs> then again, I don't even think we have an iron. We had an ironing board, but I think Rain got rid of it. I could load and unload the dishwasher all day as long as I didn't have to hand wash them. Aw, love you too, Nick and Tina. Okay, bye Lou. Have a wonderful day or evening, hun. Wherever you are. Okay, let's see here. This one's gonna be a little bit tricky because it seems like it kind of comes this way. Like this is almost one, and then it looks like there's like another one coming off of that. So I'm thinking, I don't know, this looks really funny. I'm just going to dive in and just, just do it. So I'm coming in with the black grate, and I definitely want to darken up this one that looks like it's kind of behind everything. So I'm going to go in along that. Welcome back, Susie. I also want this to be fairly dark, but not quite as dark. So I'm going to come in and just softly go over with the black grate, as well as this little blue bit down here. I'm going to blend a little bit of that black grape out into it, a little blue highlight. And I'm just going to kind of fade that out. From there, I'm going to grab the dark purple, pop that in there and kind of fade that up too. Same thing right here, leaving a little bit of a highlight running along that. We'll throw our neon pink in there, maybe add some blue. I'm not burnishing anything quite yet. Oh my goodness, Tara. He needs lessons from mine. So he's in a dark purple. I'm gonna come over top of that black grate and then same thing. I'm just gonna fade up towards this bit here. Do the same thing here, pretty much for all of these, except these two kind of seem like they're back a little bit farther. So I'm going to come in on 
top of this one, kind of the top because my book is upside down. <laughs> And then I'm going to switch to the black grape, and I'm going to pop this in on this side of this one, just to create a little bit of a darker shadow than the dark purple there. Hopefully that makes sense. This is a little bit of a confusing area, it seems like. <laughs> I hate wearing gloves too, Cindy, but I, I do wear them when I'm doing dishes, but... Not because I'm grossed out by the dishes, but because I love my nails and water is not good for them. So let's add some blue in here. I'm going to grab, I think I'm going to grab the, the denim blue. I'm just going to come in and I'm going to just come over a couple streaks, I think. Just pop little bits in here and there. And then I'm going to reach for the hot pink and pop a little bit of that in there too. Actually, I think I'm pretty much going to use this to go over everything that is not colored. Um, on the other fins, we use the neon pink as the lightest, but I do want little hints of really bright colors, but since this fin is kind of like the back one, we're like seeing the back side of it, I want it to be fairly darker. So I'm just going to color over that with the hot pink and then I'm going to grab for the neon pink and I'm going to go over everything going in the same direction as those lines. So I'm thinking we'll do one more stream in this, and then what I would like to do, I think I'm going to get Carbon in here, and we'll do a mom and son stream. He has this cool little Crayola zombie book, so we'll probably both color in that. He actually gave me, let me see if I can grab the picture, I remember where I put it, uh oh, oh yeah, no I remember. So next Wednesday, a week from now, he's going to color in his zombie book. He gave me this page. It's this zombie kitty. So I'm going to color that. He's going to color one of his pages. And it'll be pretty fun. You guys can talk to him and I'll read him comments and stuff. And he will totally enjoy it. So there's that side of the fins. Let's switch this around. Now we can do this side. I thought so. It was actually his idea. Because we were sitting at our table coloring the other night in that book. And he said that he wished that we could color it on stream. And I was like, well, that's not a bad idea. So that's the plan for next Wednesday, and that'll kind of, that'll be the video that kind of breaks this up a little bit. Because I imagine we'll probably definitely get the swordfish done today, and maybe a couple of these little doodles. And we'll probably be done all of the doodles by next Wednesday, so I'm going to guess that the background will probably take two hours as well, so yeah, it should be fun. Okay, so I'm going to keep continuing here. I'm going to grab the black grape again. And I'm actually going to go like this. And I should probably take my paper and put it in behind here. Just going to take the black grape again. And I'm going to run this along the bottoms. 
kind of fading it off as I get closer to that point. I do the same thing here, and I think this is part of a cloud. Yeah, that's part of a cloud. I'm going to come in with a dark purple, and I continue up from there. Maybe throw a couple, just a couple lines in there. And denim blue. A couple lines of this in there too. And then we can come in with the hot pink. And we'll touch that in everywhere that's still white. Okay, bye Kalani. Thanks for stopping in, hun. You have a wonderful day or night, too. I'm going to come in with the neon pink now, and again, just burnish everything. Going in the same direction as those pencil strokes. Forget. How are you? My day's going well. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to this side again. He's going upside down. Once I get to where I can stick my hand close to this binding without it irritating me, then we can flip him back over. <laughs> Hi, Sue. How are you? I'm glad to hear that, Nefer Kit. So, let's actually tackle this now. Well, let's do the fin first. So, let's see, what do we want to do here? I want this one to be quite a bit lighter. I did not notice this until right now, but there is a bunny with an oxygen tank and it is adorable. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love that. Okay, I'm going to start in with the black gray. And I'm going to color around this little circly bit here because I feel like that's probably above everything else. While we're at it, let's throw in some shadows in all these little areas as well. Oh, let me push it down a little bit. Oh, so it is work in progress Wednesday. What's everybody working on? Okay. 
I kind of use Kirby's shading as a guide for where these shadows are going to go. This is actually the only page I'm working on right now. As I said, I really haven't done much coloring at all with my art room renovation going on. Not even really renovation, just redecorating, I suppose. It's amazing how much just adding a shadow this brings a picture to life. Oh, I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> oh, Johanna Basford. Which book, Heather? That's an awesome book, Sue. That's on my list. I think I want to get that one. I only have her first two books. Oh my goodness, Charlotte, I hear you. I flipped, I only have one coloring haven, haven heaven? Coloring, which one is it? I get that creative, it's creative haven and coloring heaven. Okay. Yeah, I only have one coloring heaven magazine and it's the Halloween edition. I do plan on getting Hannah's steampunk one if I can find it. Hopefully I can, I've got my fingers crossed because I'm going to be sad if I can't. But there's so many beautiful pictures in that book. I don't know which one to pick, but I've been wanting an excuse to work in it since it's not really Halloween and this is perfect. So I will definitely be getting a page in that done sometime this month. Hi, Candy. Oh, that's awesome, Charlotte. Congrats on finishing your laundry. I hope you feel accomplished. <laughs> I love Carla Magana's work. Don't have any of her books yet, but she's on my possible buy list too. And I'm really picky when it comes to books. Just because I don't really have the means for a lot of them or the storage really, so... Yeah, I'm really, really picky. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got our shadows in there... back up a little bit and I'm going to start just using that flicking motion just to bring down some random shadows here too. I don't want too much, especially at the bottom where it thins out. Just a couple should be good. And then we can darken up some, just go over them. I'm gonna darken up this one, one there, one here. Maybe one more coming up this way. I am excited for my Mermaids and Friends book to get here. I've been checking the post every day. I'm not sure when it's going to get here. I still can't believe I even won that. That's amazing. I'm so excited. And then we will definitely be doing a color along from that eventually. I'll probably follow along with Sammy's color along first. though. <laughs> kind of get used to it. 
So we're going to come in with a dark purple now. I'm going to kind of keep this kind of buddied up to the um, black grape. Is that what it is? Yeah, black grape. Just to save some of the white. But I do want to put a little bit of it on its own. There's not really much room to work with for the amount of color I want to put in here. So I've got to be really careful, especially at the bottom here. But as long as there's a little bit of each color, then that's totally fine. Maybe let's add a little bit up here too. Just in some little strokes. Oh wait, Heather, does that mean you're buying this book? I might have, oh, let me see, I missed that. Just bought five, I just bought my first coloring book free on eBay, five Kirby Roseanne's. Oh my goodness, that's so exciting. Well, I'm happy to enable, I hope you love them. They are extremely intimidating, but definitely dive on in, you'll love it. Oh, Maisie, that's a cute name. Okay, bye Tara, thanks for stopping in. Oh my goodness, Candy, you wanna come to my house? <laughs> I'm lucky if I get like dishes and laundry done in one day. Oh my goodness, you're like Wonder Woman. Okay, I'm gonna come up and just come over top and out a little bit from these um from these shadows. I don't want to come out too much. These for the most part it's gonna be blue, but I just want to add a little bit of purple to the shadow. Just because I don't really know why. I'm just kind of going with it. I feel like it's a good idea, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> New reason. But also because using other colors as shadows for different colors pretty much always turns out good. So highly recommend. Thanks, Kate. And hi to you. I don't think I said hi. If I missed you, a big hello to you. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother with my kid's room because I spent, between his bedroom and then he kind of has the downstairs living room to himself for the most part, a lot of his toys are down there. So between his bedroom and that room downstairs, it probably took me at least four hours to clean and organize everything. And he did pretty good for a while, about a week there it stayed nice and clean. And then just bam, everything everywhere and now nothing's organized and he complains that he can't find anything and I'm like, dude, no. <laughs> I'm not doing it again. From now on, he can just clean up his own toys and throw them wherever he wants and then he can find them later. I'm dreaming, it's gonna happen again because it's gonna drive me crazy. <laughs> okay, coming in with, oh, first time here, that's awesome. Well, I hope you enjoy yourself here. The whole coloring community is super lovely. And I think a lot of us will be hopping over to Becky's stream after, um, after mine. I'm gonna go ahead and put Becky's link in, um, in the chat. Mine is not working today. Let me just grab this. And I'll pop it in there. So that's Becky's channel. So a lot of us will probably be heading over there after my stream. So coming in with the denim blue now. I want to leave a lot of the white spots that I have. I don't want too much of this. So again, I'm going to try and get a little bit on its own to really get that blue color in there. But then I'm also just going to go over the purples a bit with it as well. 
not being too careful, but just a little slow. I think that probably looks good. We'll add a little bit in the shadow here and coming out from it. Oh, mine's not even a teenager. He's five and his room is scary. <laughs> Can't imagine what it's going to be like when he's a teenager. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's like, he's the first boy in my family since my brother, who is four years younger than me. So, you know, I, aside from my brother, I didn't really have much experience raising boys. I definitely looked after my brother quite a bit. But mine is just a brat. He's sweet, though. <laughs> oh well, at least he discovered it now, rather than later. Definitely glad that you discovered the community. Coloring is amazing. I honestly don't know what I would do without this outlet. This is my favorite way to de-stress. And it's definitely a lot more special when you can share your passion with people who also love it just as much as you do. So I'm just going to come out from these gills. I'm just going to fade the blue out quite a ways. And that should help kind of blend everything together. Yeah, those are two really good pencils for shading Charlotte. <laughs> oh, Candy. I hope my, my little man grows up like that. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Sue. <laughs> yeah, that sums boys up in a nutshell. There we go. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Kate. So let's move on to the hot pink. I'm going to pop a little bit of this in here. Again, not too much, though. Maybe some more up in this area. Little bits at the bottom. Still preserving some of that white. Okay, that's probably good enough. And then I'm going to come in with neon pink. And again, same thing. I'm going to go over top of everything. Going in the same direction that all these lines are going. Kate, have you found many other color tubers? Because I 
I'm sure a lot of these lovely people in the chat could probably recommend some for you. And some other really awesome ones to check out. The coloring community is huge. I haven't, Charlotte. I'm gonna have to watch that. I love puppies. Two seconds. I've just got a um, Hanalyn Art VIP thing to deal with here quick. So now moving on to these ones here, I'm going to grab the Copenhagen blue. I'm going to add little bits of this, not everywhere, just in a couple places here that I feel need to be a little bit more blue. Without being quite as dark as the denim blue. I say not everywhere and then I put it everywhere. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna switch to the non-photo blue. And this I am gonna put everywhere. So our shadows for these gills should be really dark, our highlights fairly light. I want them to really stand out. <laughs> okay, I have to share this with you guys. So as some of you know, in the Hannah Lynn group, we do um, monthly challenges every month. So our winner from last month decided that she wants to do a Hogwarts house colored theme. So she says, choose your Hogwarts house colors or just the color scheme you like best for the muggles. And then she listed off like a bunch of colors. So then one of the admins <laughs> she just apologized that she didn't doesn't have it up yet and she's going to do it in a little bit later. And then she says, by the way, what do you mean a muggle color scheme? <laughs> I don't think she's a Harry Potter fan. Sorry, some of you, if you're not Harry Potter fans, you probably won't find that funny, but those of you who are, you probably will find that funny. Robin, that's okay, sweetheart. Thanks for stopping in. I think I've got enough colored. I should be able to flip this guy around now and get my hand in here comfortably. So I'm just going to bring this non-photo blue up, fade it out. 
this bit, I actually want pink kind of coming down here. I'm going to start off with the blue, though. Let's see here. So I'm just going to color a little bit of blue over top, kind of fade it up because we want that uh, Caribbean blue or Caribbean sea, depending on what pencils you have. So I'm going to grab that next. pop that in and fade it out and here I'm going to start fading out right about here I'm going to kind of fade it up into this pink And then, let's see here, how do we want to do this? Okay, I'm going to grab my black grape again, and I'm going to turn this guy kind of slightly. And I'm going to come in where Kirby has these lines drawn to kind of represent shadowing, and I'm going to come in along those and put in that shadow. I'm going to go right to the bottom up here because there's not much room. And then down on these bits, I'm going to save that little bit of highlight, just like we have under his whole belly. So I've just kind of blushed that all in there, and now I'm just going back in with a little bit of a firmer pressure, and I'm just continuously going over and over, just layering that up. Kind of fading it out on the bottom slightly too here. Jenny, how are you, sweetheart? Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. So then I'm going to switch to denim blue. Same thing we've been doing. I'm just going to go over top. And bring this out a little bit. I'm not going to go all the way down to the bottom of the black grape, but I'm definitely going to blend that in quite a bit. So again, we want the black grape to be a shadow, but we don't want it to completely take over. Just a little bit up here. And on the top side of this line, just slightly, I want to color that in a little bit as well as kind of the bottom part of this one.
Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm doing pretty good, thanks. Can't complain. Okay, Sue, so thanks for stopping in. You have a wonderful day or evening, wherever you are, hon. I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to move on to the Copenhagen blue now. And I'll bring this up a little bit. I want to save a white highlight all the way along here for our true blue. So I feel like that should have a little bit of a lighter highlight. This bit here, I think I'm just going to color that in. I'm going to go in with the black grape and darken those shadows up a little bit though, that way they stand out. And then up along here, I want to come in with the Copenhagen blue. And I want this to be our shadow up here, nothing too dark, but enough of a shadow that it's noticeable. I might add a slight bit of black grape there too, I'm not sure. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Would you, would you eat a swordfish? Can you eat a swordfish? Are they poisonous or is that a thing? Do people do that? Now you've got me curious. I've never heard of anybody eating swordfish, but they probably do. I mean, people eat alligators. You can't get much crazier than that. No offense to anybody here that does. I just personally wouldn't, although I heard it tastes like chicken. I'm not sure if that's true. <laughs> No problem, Michelle. See you next time. Have a wonderful day, hon. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to eat the sword, that's for sure. I bleed you. I don't know, if I found a swordfish this colorful, I would want to like get a huge tank like the size of a wall or like even a room maybe. They're probably pretty big. <laughs> I'd get a swimming pool and just let them swim around in the swimming pool. You'd be my buddy. <laughs> Hi Anne, how are you Anne? I'm not letting Jenny near my swordfish, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't want to come too far up with this blue, but I feel like it needs to come up more. No, I'm going to stop it right about here. I think this is this is good. Maybe darken down here a little bit more. And then I'm going to switch to the black. Actually, I'm not going to use the black grape along here. I'm going to grab the dark purple and I'm going to use that instead. So I guess I don't want it too dark and the black grape is a little bit too dark for what I want. So I'm just going to run the dark purple along under here and that'll be enough of a shadow without being too much. I don't want it to overtake it. Oh. Maybe key the door or am I hearing things? <laughs> He's way too pretty to eat. Oh. 
Oh no, Anne. Well, at least you had some nice quality time with him though, right? I mean, that's all that matters. But maybe add a little bit of the dark purple on this bottom bit here, but then I'm going to grab the black grape and this part here, just underneath kind of where his mouth meets, I'm going to put the black grape in there because I want that shadow to be darker than the shadow up top. So then I can come in with the non-photo blue. And I'm going to start down here, just kind of going over everything. I'm going to pop that blue in and pretty much blend it over everything. I don't mind it. Um, I actually think I prefer it in this book compared to, I can't really speak for Imagimorphia because I think I've only done one, maybe two pages in that one and I'm not sure that I used Prismacolors in it. Um, I know I've used them in the Mythomorphia and I don't mind it in that one, but I feel like this is probably the better one for them. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I colored in Mythomorphia with Prismacolors. Usually I use ink tints. But yeah, for this one, I really, I really like the way that the pencils are going down. I'm just going to keep that kind of rounded look coming up, I think. I'm going to bring that up to about here. And then just kind of round it downwards. I'm going to slope it down. And maybe sharpen this. Oh, her. I apologize. I'm sorry. <laughs> but at least you got good time with her then. I shouldn't have just assumed. For some reason, I thought that said son, not kiddo. Okay, sounds good, Charlotte. I will see you there. should have just enough time to finish this guy. Like, not the page, but just him in general. You know what I mean. <laughs> I think you're right. I think that's why I started using the ink tints in it. But I know I did the double, the double page of dwarves. I know I did that with Prismacolors. But I'm not sure what my thoughts were on the paper. I don't know why I'm getting kind of like a texture mark here. I don't like it though. I gotta get rid of that.
must have damaged the side of the paper somehow. So I don't know if it's really noticeable, but it's just this little kind of almost S-shaped mark here. I'm not going to let it bother me though. <laughs> Thanks, Nanamo. Tons and tons of layering. <laughs> Okay, I think that's close enough. So let's go in with the Caribbean Sea slash blue. So we're popping that in around the bottom here as well as just a little bit at the very top. Mia. Good morning, sweetheart. <laughs> oh my goodness, Heather. <laughs> well, I didn't know that you could use them on fabric, so <laughs> that's interesting. I switch back to the non photo blue here and blend these into each other just a little bit more. And then back to the latest blue. I'm going to continue rubbing this along the top of his nose here. Then I'm going to grab the hot pink. I'm going to put that pretty much over all of the white spaces and just blend it into the blue. Also, I'm just going to bring it in a little bit this way. Just blend it into this bit here too. Thanks, Mia. That's pretty cool, Heather. So you could like use it to make like t-shirts or like anything, eh? I feel like making myself a pillowcase now. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna come in with the dark purple. I'm gonna put a little bit on the tip of his sword here. Not too much, kind of just running it along the middle. There's not too much room. I'm just gonna kind of pop this in randomly. Maybe you kind of come around his eye a little bit, fade it out. Of 
first we'll blend it out into that blue and we'll blend it out a little bit down on the bottom here as well. Kind of following this curve a little bit here. Just enough to add a little bit of extra color. And then I'm going to go in with the neon pink and go over all of the pink and purple bits. Slightly blend it into the blue. Don't want to go over that too much. And then, again, just going over top of all of this top part with the white. I do want to make his eyes stand out a little bit more, so let's throw in some of the darker blues, I think. I'll grab the, uh, the denim blue. I'm just going to come in by this corner, and I'm going to kind of go a little bit firm here, and then just blend it out to about here. And then I'm going to add the black grape. I'm going to go on the outside just on the um, right side of his eye here. We're gonna create a little bit of a shadow, fade that out. Let's put a little bit of the black grape in on his pupil. A little bit of the dark purple. And then I'm gonna go in with the neon pink. And then I think one more thing that I want to do is I'm gonna grab the dark purple and I'm just gonna kind of go over these little marks that Kirby has here just to kind of make it look like they're just slightly shadowed. And then I'm gonna grab the Caribbean Sea slash blue and just lightly go over that, kind of blend it all together and make it a little bit darker. There. Isn't he Heather? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Let's, let's get a full on view of him so far. I'll, I'll see him out here. So that's what we got going so far. I think he's looking pretty good. Once we do this top fin here, he's really gonna come to life. And we've got about 20 minutes, so we can definitely get a jump start on that. And I think to make it easier, I'm gonna start just kind of at the top here so I can hopefully get this bit done. That way I can kind of get away from the binding. So again, apologies, but I'm going to have to put him upside down. And we'll zoom back in and just continue on. But yes, I definitely think he's turning out amazing. Now I'm just torn on whether I want to, because I know I'm pretty sure I'm adding gold in here. Let's see. I'm going to grab my gold stickles and my silver stickles. It's not quite gold, but it's close. And with the colors that I have here, I don't know, I'm leaning more towards the gold. The silver is going to blend in quite a bit, and the gold is going to stand out a little bit more. So I think I am going to go with the gold. But aside from that, I'm not sure if I want any other colors that are going to kind of stand out. So this, the thing with adding contrast colors is sometimes you intend for him to be your focus, but sometimes those contrasting colors will actually take away. So it's, I don't know, it's kind of tricky. It's a 50-50 shot. He's pretty big though, so I feel like your eyes will be drawn to him regardless of what colors you use. But I don't know. 
I'm to that point where I'm really happy with it, and now I'm just, like, worried about the rest of it. <laughs> Hi, Jacqueline. Jacqueline. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce your name. Hope Jackie. Can I call you Jackie? <laughs> That'd be a little bit easier. <laughs> I'm glad you were able to get it done, Robin. So... Again, just using these same colors, I'm going to come in with the black grape first. And I'm just going to run this along some of these more shadowy bits. And I'm going to kind of mimic that flicking motion, except kind of stage it, because I want a little bit more control for the darker colors. I don't want to add too much. And I also kind of want to blend them out a little bit, too. So for a few of these, I'm going to be careful and then I can kind of loosen up a little bit and just throw them in there. We can also go back the other way too if we want. Then in with the dark purple, for the most part going to keep this close to the black grape. A little bit on its own. <laughs> yeah, he's doing good today, Mia. He's definitely I don't know. He's, he's definitely tired, that's for sure. I think he did a lot of running around last night. I'm going to come in with the denim blue. I'm going to pop some of this in with the purples and some of it on its own. And then the hot pink, again, same thing. I'm going to throw some of it over top of the other colors, some of it by itself. Trying to save some of these nicer kind of white streaks here for our neon pink. Uh oh, Robin, did I miss something? Oh, did you, you made a mistake? <laughs> I've been there too, Robin, don't worry. Okay, coming in with the, oh, actually, I'm gonna go back in with the black grape and I'm actually gonna run this along this whole bottom bit here. And I'm just going to fade it up. And then I'm going to take the denim blue and do the same thing. I'm going to run it over top of that black grape and fade this up. Just because I want the bottom to be a little bit more in shadow. Because this fin technically is not on this side of him that we can see. It's in the middle of his back. So it's a little bit further back. So it would be slightly shadowed coming up. So that's why we're doing that. So I'll throw a little bit darker strokes of this blue in here because it's beautiful and I feel like there's not quite enough. Me too, Mia. I don't know what I'd do without that cat. So now in with the neon pink. Going over top of everything, following the same way that the pencil and the lines are going. 
So no little circles here. And the reason that we're doing that is because if we did circles here or if we went this way, we're actually going to smear the pencils that way. And we don't want to do that. We want to preserve these lines. So it's still going to kind of blend the color together, but we don't want them too blended. So the only time I'm doing little circles is if I'm kind of close to something or there's really not much color. Okay, hun, thanks for popping in. You take care too, sweetheart. Okay, so I like that except for this pink line. That's a little bit too much. So I'm going to take the, um, the denim blue and I'm going to slightly go over top of this just to knock it back a little bit. That one's a little bit too much. Maybe just a little bit here and there to mute it down. Other than that, I think that looks pretty good. What am I? Oh, there we go. So what am I caught on? But it was a pencil. So we're just going to continue doing the same thing. I'll just work on this section here. I'm going to pop that black grape in first. Oh, actually, I'm going to grab my papers. Throw them behind this side. I like that monkey, too. I want to do that monkey. More just because of the castle. There's a castle on that page, and I love castles. little one's gaming out and he's pretending to make a video <laughs> explaining everything he's doing and then he runs off to go talk to daddy he goes one second guys <laughs> okay there's our black grape And then dark purple. Oops. I'm gonna go firm, but also kind of careful. Denim blue. And then, let's see, hot pink. So it's a little bit tedious, but it's really satisfying watching it come together like this. Kind of focus this on some of these other white lines so that way there's not too much of the neon pink. And then any thicker lines, I'm going to pop this in on as well.
Oh, that's exciting, Mia. I need to try some of these Arteza products. I hear a lot of people mentioning them. Okay, now I'll just end with the neon pink. We could do the whole thin at once, but I don't I kind of like working in sections. I don't blame you, Mia. Owls are beautiful. Okay, let's see if those kind of match up enough. Oh yeah, not bad. Just carry on doing the same thing. It's gonna get a little bit tedious. So black grape again. I'm gonna run black grape along the bottom here. Fade it out. And then just continue on with this for now. In with the dark purple. As these fins get a little bit bigger, you can kind of add more, more of the color. It's a little bit easier, which is nice. Just got to be careful around these little objects, though, which make it kind of tricky, but things just work with it. Has anybody heard from Sammy? Poor thing, I hope she's doing good. I've been missing her streams. I hope she's feeling up to streaming again soon.
Oh, was she? Oh, good. At least she's still out and about in the coloring community. That's awesome. Okay, I'm going to go in with the denim blue again down here. Just going to color in along here and fade it up. So I'm just creating that shadow. I almost made it to Dee Dee's stream, but then time kind of caught up to me. And next thing I knew, it was already 10 o'clock and I was hopping on. Yeah, I know she hasn't been streaming yet. Hopefully she'll feel up to it soon. Hot pink. I'm mostly just going to keep the hot pink down at the bottom because again, like we said, we want the bottom to be a little bit lighter. And then in with the neon pink again. Okay, and I think this is where we're going to end it for today. 
So on Monday when we come back, we'll be able to finish him off and then probably start the clouds since I know what color they're going to be. That's what we've got so far. He's looking pretty cool. I'm quite happy with him. I'm not 100% sure on this. I might come back over it with white to kind of soften it up a little bit. I think it might be a little too bright. I'm not sure. But for now, I'm going to leave it because I might just be... I don't know. It's hard to tell with all this white around it because the white makes this look kind of more bright almost. So, yeah. Um... As always, thanks for joining and keeping me company. I hope you guys are enjoying. And I will hopefully see a majority of you over at Becky's stream. She's actually streaming right now, I think. For some reason, my phone didn't notify me, though. That should be the link to her channel right there for those of you that want to pop on over. So I'll see you there, or I'll see you Monday. Okay, bye, guys. Take care. Bye.